What's going on, y'all? It's Austin with the Semi Sauce and YouTube channel. I figured I would just touch base. It's been about a week since you guys have heard from me and give you guys an update on where I'm at, what I'm doing. Um, I'm in Phoenix, just enjoying time with my kids. My son is feeling much better. I appreciate all the thoughts, prayers, and concerns that were sent to the channel for him. He was on oxygen for a couple days. Uh, he was released from the hospital um, shortly after shortly after being released from the hospital his fever broke and he's slowly but surely getting better so I, I do appreciate all the comfort and support you guys have sent it's been great I'm trying my best to not let this channel die out because I'm not trucking right now so uh, just <laughs> to give you guys an update on what I've been doing um, for the last couple of days I've been doing you know rideshare jobs like instacart doordash amazon flex just making scraping a couple extra dollars here and there you know i'm sure times are tough for everybody right now in and out of the trucking industry the economy's not in a great spot um so i know that that's probably um it's probably a sore subject for everybody you know the just the where we're at right now economically um, but i'm trying to keep my head held high you know i have kids to provide for so i got to put on a brave face um but I wanted to talk to you guys about the opportunities that I have. So right now I have two job opportunities and I don't really know which one I'm gonna take. And it kind of just changes the whole dynamic of this channel um, because one, both of them actually aren't using my CDL at all. So it's just stuff that's local that's gonna pay me, you know, 20 plus an hour. That's even nowadays, it's so crazy to talk about that. Like it's not a livable, like it's barely a livable expense. Um, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, both jobs are paying a little over $20 an hour. Um, and I had connections with both of them, you know, which is why it's always good to make friends. Be good to people. Be nice, you know, because people see how hard I work and people see how much effort I put into everything I do. And so when stuff like this happens and I need an opportunity, they're like, we would love to have you. And no interview really needed. Just kind of come and do your thing. And this is what it is. So... I have two opportunities. One, I'm, I'm like currently going through the process um, with Amazon. Um, I have a buddy of mine that works for a DSP and you know, just they've got a pretty good gig out here and uh, they pay comfortably, you know, to I'll be driving the step vans and stuff. So I'll still be driving like a box truck, which I've done before, um, four days a week, which is kind of cool. You know, I have three days off to go do side hustles and other things here and there if I want to. Um, the other job would be to go be a manager back at one of the restaurants I worked for as, as, a, as a young teen. Um, the pay there is a little bit better. Uh, benefits are probably a little bit better, but it's more like hands-on, you know, customer facing, which I've kind of liked being away from with Swift and the other driving opportunities I've had. So I'm torn. I'm between a rock and a hard place. I have one that pays slightly better, better benefits, but I'm, I probably am not going to be as happy. Both of them are four day work weeks though. So like home time and like family time is like, is there regardless. I'm going to be home with my kids and stuff, wait for the economy to smooth over and then maybe buy a truck when it gets better. Um, or whatever, whatever I decide to do, you know, but I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know. If I, you know what I mean. Amazon's a great, a great look on the resume. You know, it always looks good to to work for one of the biggest companies in the in the, in the world. So, even if you're as like a third party contractor. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm currently waiting for my food to be finished. I have a pickup order for lunch for me and the kiddos. So I'm gonna have. I'm gonna eat this lunch, and then I'm gonna go do some DoorDash for about six hours make some cheddar and then probably go home but yeah that was it i just wanted to drop by do a quick video um go ahead and leave some information in the comments if you guys have any like you know experience in the restaurant ind industry or experience with amazon dsps and you got some helpful pointers you know let me know i love you guys man i can't i can't continue to say enough how grateful i am for you guys and and the camaraderie that i've gotten across the screen i didn't think it was going to be possible we're approaching 300 subscribers we have almost 25,000 views on this channel so we've reached a lot of people and a lot of people have watched my journey and even though it did come to an end it's just the start of another you know path we're not we're not done with trucking yet we're just we're just a little off path and we'll get back on 
But yeah, man, leave some feedback in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about restaurant industry versus going to be an Amazon DSP driver. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Love, peace, chicken grease. Catch you guys later.